In this video, I am going to speak about the dermatologist's skin care while traveling. So irrespective of the destination you are planning to travel, whether it can be a beach destination or even it can be a trip to mountains or valleys or even you can plan a travel to urban cities, it's important to take care of two things. One is the sun protection and another is the hydration. Now first talk about the sun protection and sun care. The sun protection can be achieved either physically sun protection or by chemical means. The physical we mean to have a proper clothing which will cover your body properly. You can use a broad brimmed hat or else also you can put glares and even use the scarf while you are traveling to prevent your skin from excessive sun exposure which gives redness and even chilly tanning and burning. The second one is chemical protection. So chemical protection can be achieved by regular use of sunscreens. A sunscreen with an SPF 50 is more than sufficient, which should be used every three hourly if you are somewhere in a, on a beach destination. The sunscreen which is called a physical blocker and a chemical blocker, which can cover both UVA and give protection against UVB rays. The UVB rays actually give you tanning, redness and sunburn and can cause skin cancers for that matter. But the UVA rays actually makes your skin look aging and gives photo damage and photo aging eventually gives you premature aging and wrinkles. So sunscreen which covers both UVA and UVB is recommended. The second important thing is hydration. So hydration can be achieved by proper use of moisturizers. For example, if you are planning for a summer destination, you can use moisturizers which are rich in ceramides, jojoba or shea butter and can be, should be used every two to three uh, times in a day or every, you can repeat it every four hourly. And, and for that matter, and these sunscreens should be free from paraffin, especially when you are place, you are going for a summer vacation somewhere on a beach, a beach holiday or things like that. But if you are going for a vacation where it's snow or it's cold, you can use moisturizers which are rich in glycerin and which are rich in some liquid paraffin. I would like to touch on the fact that even if you are traveling prolonged for a for longer duration in planes, it is recommended to use the moisturizers because of the cabin pressure which gives a lot of dehydration. So using moisturizers while traveling is also recommended. 